This nondescript building off London's Tottenham Court Road might not look like much, but it houses some of the British government's art treasures. Let's go through to where we keep the works of art. Thousands of artworks come through these doors, waiting to be selected for hanging in Britain's government buildings, from embassies to 10 Downing Street. The mostly British pieces, from William Hogarth's to Lucian Freud's, are more than just decorative. We place works of art in British diplomatic buildings to promote British art, Britain, history and culture, and also, by doing that, contribute to cultural diplomacy. There are 14,000 works in the collection. Some were bought decades or centuries ago, while others are contemporary, with a new series of commissions just announced. But playing a part in geopolitics can be risky. One of the challenges in recent years was the attack on the British Embassy compound in Tehran. And in that, we did have some works of art slashed. The portrait of Queen Victoria is currently being restored, and we are hoping that everything will return to Tehran in December this year. Complex restoration work like that is done off-site, but some key work is done here. Today, a 1977 work by David Tyndall is being prepared for the embassy in Ottawa. But it's hotter climbs that are riskier for artworks. What we have to do is take preventative conservation to prevent a climate such as a tropical climate um, affecting work by doing something called tropicalization. And what that is simply, it's, it's sealing the back of a painting or a drawing against uh, any ingress from any insects, uh, against any kind of uh, moisture from the climate. With special care like this, the UK's art collection will remain in good condition, able to represent the country around the world for centuries to come.